So now in this video, we're gonna look at the RC time constant of a charging capacitor. And it's just like the discharging capacitor that we looked at in the last video, except discharging capacitor, the voltage went down in that curve. For the uh, charging capacitor, the uh, voltage goes up over time as far as the curve is concerned. We'll look at that in more detail with the actual breadboard like we did in the last video. But uh, the main takeaway is you take the resistance that the current's going through to charge the capacitor as soon as you release the switch, closing the switch instantly discharges it, and uh, release the switch, current flows through the resistor, that sets how much current flows, and it starts charging the capacitor. The uh, value of the capacitor, the size of it, determines how long it takes to uh, charge up and get a voltage change. So if you have a 1000 ohm resistor, like we have here, a kilo ohm right there, and you have a one one thousandth of a farad, which a thousand microfarad is, same as 0.001 farad. You multiply those two together, makes the math easy, one thousand times one thousandth is one. That's one second. So that's one time constant. That's the first uh, fifth of the charging, where you can see there's a rapid voltage rise, about two thirds of the total voltage change. Then you get about two thirds of what's left in the next one, two thirds of what's net, uh, left in the next one, and so on. So after five of them, it's like 99.99% uh, charge. You consider it done at that point. And of course, you can adjust the values of the capacitor and resistor however you want. A thousand is uh, pretty close to the maximum you normally use for uh, basic electronics. You can go as low as you want, and you can really go about as high as you want with the resistors. You run into problems if you go too high, but uh, there's a whole lot of flexibility when it comes to the timing there. And so here we have the breadboard 1000 microfarad capacitor. We can charge it up to 35 volts. We're only going up to 5 volts in this circuit. It's polarized. We got to put the negative side there. Yeah, positive side. We're going to the top of the switch straight across there. There you can see we have the resistor from the positive side of the supply right there. So the capacitor naturally charges. So the negative side right there, uh, the left side of the board, is a direct connection thanks to that jumper there to the negative side over there so we're directly connected the capacitor is parallel to the uh, switch even though it looks like they're connected a bit differently so now when I did the uh, instant charge when I would hit the button uh, that would instantly charge the capacitor in the last video we got a burst of current we don't have to worry about that in this video the burst of current is when the capacitor discharges and that current comes from the capacitor so we'll be fine with this voltage but there you can see we have the 5 volts let's turn the uh, light down and uh, so it shows up a little better it will drop to nothing instantly right there and as soon as I release it now it is charging up right there we have that RC time constant and let's uh, stop it right about there and looks like we're just a tad bit past where I wanted to stop but uh, that's plenty good there you can see we already did the calculation should be about one second we got one two three four five you go up there and you can see that it is pretty much stuck at that line there fully charged we'll uh, zoom in as close as I can you can see that uh, from four to five it went up a little tick right there so that was a little harder to see when it was uh, discharging but there you can see it wasn't uh, done really going up and it's still trickling up a very very tiny bit after that but for the most part after time const uh, five time constants you consider it fully charged so it's uh, really that simple the RC time constant is used all over the place first video we looked at was a smoothing uh, capacitor where it just tries to hold the voltage during brief uh, power supply bumps or whatever uh, the smoothing might be for. In this video we actually use that RC time uh, constant. We'll look at circuits that depend on that for their timing. Pretty simple uh, but really effective. So in any case hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, uh, donate to Patreon if you can. Links down in the description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.